Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we have our idea about how things should be. We have these ideas about how this world is, where we stand in the universe, where we are with each other. Lord, we ask that we will be opened to your reality, the truth, that all of our ideas will be put into perspective, a better perspective than our own understanding can give us. Lord, sometimes we become dependent on the understanding from others, and we let ourselves be told what to believe, what to understand, and what is right, wrong, and true. And if we're going to be told, we want to be told by you. We want to be guided by your word. We want, be, want to be directed by your love. So Lord, help us when we are confronted by the, the ideologies of the world. Lord, some of these are great. They reflect your glory. They, they are built up in your truth. Not, it's not always easy to discern. We especially ask, Lord, for those who lead us, for those on whom we depend. We trust one another with so much in our lives. Lord, we may not realize it, but we look to the, to the farmer as our leader to food. Lord, we look to the trucker as, as the leader to so many of our resources. We look to the, the power worker as our leader for keeping the heat on, the lights on. Lord, grant all these people wisdom. Grant the person who's keeping things clean wisdom and a respect for their work. Help us to look at the work that each person is doing, not with judgment, but with a, a, a spirit of celebration of what God is doing in them and what they are doing to glorify you, O Lord. Lord, we pray for your church in all that it is trying to do in the midst of a, of a cold, dark world. Lord, let your light shine. Let your light shine on us. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our reading today is from the Gospel of Matthew, reading in chapter 19, verse 26. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. And Christ was talking about salvation. The impossible reality of our salvation. You know, scientists look at the complexity of our planet, the diversity of life, and as much as there is the saying of a, of a Goldilocks zone in which planets like ours can exist in the universe, we're yet to find life or true signs of life. And for it to live in this complexity and diversity and codependency and beauty, this borders in the realm of the universe as far as we can see it. This borders on the impossible. And when you put your salvation, your rightness in life, your right place in not just this life, but in eternal life, the impossibility of that is a profound reality. But it isn't our reality. It isn't the reality given, offered to all, given in, to those who believe. With God, all this is possible. Even you. And most of all, you in salvation. You in God's kingdom. You as a treasure child of God. God bless and keep you.